Alrighty, what is going on guys, Sam here, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video onto my channel. So yeah, my hero is literally a mesh right now, I'd literally just got out of the shower. But what we're going to be talking about in this video is how to level up quickly and get that max tier 100 skin and the max first skin, I can't, I honestly can't remember what it's called. So, no, actually no, I just realised, tier 100 skin is a Ragnarok and the tier 1 skin is a Drift. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually get really quickly up those levels and why you actually may not even need to level up this season specifically. I've actually got some information, it's not only really leaked information but it's just some information that no one actually knows right now about the leveling up and why you might not need to do it all in this one season but before we get into this video i want to make sure everyone is subscribed to the channel and notifications turned on at the time i'm recording this video i'm literally like 12 subscribers off oh my god like actually no i'll just refresh and we're up to 10 or 2000 subscribers so if we're not 2000 by the time this video goes up please subscribe that i'd appreciate that a lot it would mean a lot to me honestly like we're so close i do have a montage that's coming out for 2000 subscribers it's going to be coming out when i'm on holiday that's one of my videos that i'm going to be stacking i do go on holiday and choose so yeah, I might have someone else on my channel for that time. Also drop a like on this video if you do end up enjoying it, I'd appreciate it a lot. Try smash the like button. I don't know how I want I don't want to set a like goal because I don't know how many likes. Like it can vary so much. But try and just smash the like button and the shout of the day will be going on screen right about now. If you want a chance to get a shout, all you need to do is comment anything down below and you do enter yourself for a chance to get a shout in the next video. So anyway, I've done enough rambling on already. Getting on to the main part of the video. We all want to get this level 100 skin maxed out because personally me, I didn't even make it to get max uh, mega a skin last season because as you know you need to get to level 80. This season you do actually need to get to 500,000 XP to get max Ragnarok I think. If I'm correct let me just double check. Yep 500,000 XP to get max Ragnarok skin and 200,000 to get max Rift skin and personally I actually think the Drift skin looks nicer but that's just personal preference. So yeah. So the first thing I want to talk about is why you actually don't actually need to get all the XP in this one specific season. I'm going to put a picture on screen right about now and when you actually go into the information section of Fortnite and you go up to what's up with Drift and Ragnarok outfits. So it has a thing saying, introducing in the Season 5 Battle Pass, the special Drift and Ragnarok outfits get new styles as you complete the Drift and Ragnarok challenges. Earning XP from Battle Royale matches will complete complete these challenges and unlock the new styles. You can switch between any style they've unlocked from within the locker tab. Note, this is an important bit, no, unlike the Carbide and Mega outfits introduced in Season 4, unlocking new styles for the Drift and Ragnarok the rock skins can still be accomplished after season 5 ends so if you don't get know what that means basically after season 5 ends you can still earn xp towards maxing these skins out unlike last season because i only got to like level 75 or something so i didn't get max omega and i didn't get those cool lights which i was pretty annoyed about but it looks like if you, you don't even need to grind this season you can just get it without even having to grind at all you can end up getting it at season 6 or whatever you want to get it also a lot of people are wondering what kind of level is 500,000 xp is that a lot is that higher than level 80 is that lower i'm gonna put a picture on screen right now what level you need to get to to unlock every single outfit or every kind of style for it so on the left is the drift all we need to do to get to style 1 is level 13 style 2 level 20 style 3 29 style 4 40 and style 5 56 and then for the ragnarok you need to get to level 24 to unlock style 1 style 2 is 35 style 3 is 44 style 4 is 60 style 5 is 78 so to unlock max ragnarok all we need to do is get to level 78 which is actually a bit lower than than last season but it's honestly like not too much of a difference so it's pretty much the exact same they've just kind of rounded up a bit mm -mm, let me just wait for my face cam to come and focus there we are so make sure you share this video to your friends make sure you screenshot these pictures so you know what levels you need to get to on to unlock these are to get all this xp and to unlock these different styles because you you're not gonna know like you're, gonna, you're probably gonna think oh i might be further off than i actually think i am but if you screenshot this image and take it with you you'll know exactly when to actually or you'll know exactly when you're close to getting that kind of style also so if you want to know how to uh, rank up fast, I already have made a video on this, but I will go through some of the key points that I did talk about in that past video. So now that we've got a new season, obviously, so there's all these week challenges, make sure you complete all them and all the daily challenges as well. That's the obvious ones. Everyone already knows them, like most people anyway. But I just want to quickly go over that and make sure everyone's complete all your weekly challenges and all your daily challenges. That's 100% the fastest way to gain XP. Then what you've done then, because a lot of people will have done them already, and that's probably why you want to know how to live up quicker. Basically, I went through this before but there's four main points of why you want to or that will affect how much xp you get per game if you win the game that will give you lots of xp depending how long you survive how many kills you get and the time that you're left alive for so what i would recommend doing is actually go to kind of the outsides of the map and kind of work your way in and potentially get kills if you see them basically play for the win that's the fastest way hands down to get xp so i think you get something like 2000 if you win a game and then obviously if you're winning a game you're going to stay alive longer and if you end up winning the game you probably end up going to get a few kills as well 
well so it's also placement as well because if you place quite high and you, you're alive long that's two things that are really going to get you a lot of xp even if you don't get many kills as long as you're staying alive long and you're actually ranking really high in the game then you end up going to get a lot of xp and anyway, guys i'm going to wrap up this video here i don't know how long it's going to be but hopefully it's going to be at, like some somewhat long i don't know i'm going holiday on tuesday so i might have someone covering the news for like a few days I'm, i'd already have some videos stacked for that like my montage that's going to be going up that day i might do a top five any videos you want to see that you want to start from me to do like top five random duos trolling videos whatever you want to see just comment down below and i will think about or consider doing it i, I most likely i probably will end up doing it also subscribe because as i mentioned we're literally 10 subscribers off of 2000 subscribers turn notifications on to this channel and leave any comment for a chance to get a shout in the next video i'm not sure recording this at half past seven i used to go up at nine or so i don't know when it's going to go up but it's going to go up in like a few hours so anyways it's me simp guys later peace I'm